Now I will explain a program to interface ultrasonic sensor with node MCU. Uh, this is a program. Uh, it is written for ESP8266 based development board that is load MCU to measure the distance using ultrasonic sensor. So how, what is the working principle of ultrasonic sensors uh, that I have already uh, explained in my previous video. And using this ultrasonic sensor, we can send the data to the ThingSpeak. So what is ThingSpeak? ThingSpeak is a cloud platform for storage and visualization. So the ESP8266 connects to Wi-Fi network and uh, uh, either to our mobile hotspot or uh, any of the Wi-Fi network and sends the distance measurements uh, to a specific ThingSpeak channel using HTTP POST request. So to do this experiment, first we should create an account in a ThingSpeak. How to create the account in a ThingSpeak? That also I have explained in the previous video. Then uh, in this experiment, we should uh, go to our ThingSpeak account and we should create one channel. Now how to create the channel in ThingSpeak? Uh, I'll show you first. After that, I'll explain this program. And to create a channel in a ThingSpeak, first you should uh, uh, go to Google Chrome and there you uh, uh, type ThingSpeak and uh, it will ask you to enter your password and uh, uh, user ID and a password. After uh, entering those two, so we will get this window. So this is the uh, ThingSpeak platform. So in this, you go here, channel, and there is a chan new channel option. Click on new channel. So here it will ask you to enter the name of the experiment. So I will enter this only ultrasonic sensor interfaced with load MCU. And you write uh, some description about your uh, experiment. In this experiment, we are going to measure the distance. So I will type like this. Sure. distance of an object using ultrasonic sensor. This is the description of my experiment. So after that, in this experiment, we use only one variable that is distance. So you mentioned, uh, you will declare your variable in field one. Distance. Okay. So after that, go down and save channel. So your channel will be saved. See, the ultrasonic sensor interfaced with the node MCU and the variable I have taken distance and uh, it will give us the date and on which date, what is the distance along with the time, it will display in a chart. This is about creating a channel in your account. So as soon as I create a, a channel, I'll give, the, I'll give a channel ID. You should copy this channel ID and paste it in your program, control C. So now I'll go to program, I'll paste the channel ID in a program. In this program, uh, first you should include uh, ESP8266 Wi-Fi header file because we are using ESP8266 Wi-Fi module model. So for that purpose, you should include this library head library file. And I'll explain these two later. First, you uh, we copied uh, channel ID that we will paste here. I pasted my channel ID, which I created in the ThingSpeak account. Now, I want API key. This also, I'll get it from a, a ThingSpeak channel. So again, I'll go to ThingSpeak channel and I'll copy the API key and I'll paste it. To get API key, you have to click on channel and click on my channel. And this is my, the name of the experiment I have given. So click on your experiment. Here you will get 
द एपीआई की क्लिक ऑन एपीआई की सो दिस इज युअर एपीआई की कॉपी दिस एपीआई की व्हाट इज एपीआई की आई विल एक्सप्लेन इन द प्रोग्राम कॉपी दिस एपीआई की एंड पेस्ट इट इन युअर प्रोग्राम आई कॉपीड नाउ आई विल पेस्ट इट इन अ प्रोग्राम आई विल गो टू द प्रोग्राम now this is a, a place where we should copy our api key so i'll just now i copied key from api key from my thing speaker account i'll paste it here so i copied the api key now on what which are the parameters we copied from uh, thing speak channel one api key and another one the channel id this is my channel id those two things before uh, before doing ex experiment you go to your things speak account create a channel and copy the api key paste it in your program copy the uh, channel id and paste it in a program now i will explain what is what are all these things in your program so this uh, esp8266 this program starts by including necessary library files the main library file here used is esp8266 wifi.h it provides functions for connecting esp8266 to wifi network what it will provide it provide it provides functions for connecting esp8266 to where it should connect to wifi network for that purpose we include this then uh, we copied api key what is api key api key for your think speak channel this key is used to this key is used to authorize the esp8266 to write data to your channel so with the help of this only i can write the data to my channel in the cloud uh, so for that purpose we should write here api key then i'll write ssid so this is a uh, wifi network credentials uh, these are the credentials using this credential esp8266 will connect to the channel the specific thing speak channel number where the distance data will be sent and uh, for the uh, uh, for my ssid i will have a password so the password is also you should write correctly then the channel id i just now uh, copied and pasted pasted here this is my channel id and in wide setup uh, in wide setup function uh, the uh, server first i will explain what the server uh, the thing speak api server address we should declare it be beginning only so the uh, which server we are using api dot thing speak dot com so this is the server so that server also we should uh, declare in a program next is wifi client so this creates a client object which will be used to send data to thing speak server this is a client object with the help of this we can send data to a thing speak server and uh, trigger uh, is equal to d6 the d6 pin of node mcu is connected to trigger pin of ultrasonic sensor the d7 pin of node mcu is connected to echo pin of uh, ultrasonic sensor and two variables we have declared duration and the distance duration uh, uh, it is used to calculate the time uh, 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 from the transmitter to receiver the the pulse goes from transmitter to receiver what is the time required for that uh, that is called as a duration uh, for that purpose uh, the variable duration is declared and the distance is a variable where we actually calculate the distance of the object so this is all about the um, uh, initialization in the program before uh, writing the wide setup function in wide setup function the serial communication is started with the baud rate of 9600 to enable the debugging messages 
Next, the trigger pin uh, is the trigger pin and echo pin are set as output. Trigger pin is set as output pin and the uh, echo pin is set as input pin and these two pins are connected to the ultrasonic sensor for distance measurement. Next, uh, uh, wifi.begin, uh, here we are writing SSID and the password. So what SSID I have given? Uh, Shanta CM and the password is um, um, my Wi-Fi password. And this line I have not explained, serial.println serial uh, begin. So the meaning of this is it simply sends the string serial begin to the serial port. So which is followed by a new line char character. LN stands for new line. And after that, we have one more function, serial.println. So this function is used to print a data to the, uh, the serial port. And it automatically adds a new line character at the end of uh, every output. So it adds a new line. The next line is serial.print connecting to. This line sends the string connecting to, so to the serial port. The, uh, 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 in serial monitor, we can uh, see this message that is connecting to. So the serial.print function uh, is used to uh, send data to the serial port for communication with the external devices such as a computer. So after that, we have a serial.println SSID. So this line sends the uh, SSID value, you know, that is my SSID is a Shanta CM. Uh, to the serial port and followed by the new line character because uh, LN is present here. So that is the meaning of uh, serial.println SSID. Next statement is while uh, Wi-Fi.status not equal to WL connected. This initiates a while loop and it continues until Wi-Fi connection status becomes WL connected. So till the Wi-Fi status becomes WL connected, it keeps on executing the while loop. The Wi-Fi status function returns the current status of the Wi-Fi connection. So after that, we have a function delay 500. This line causes a delay of 500 milliseconds, that is 0.5 seconds, before the next iteration of the loop. It helps to avoid uh, excessive checking of the Wi-Fi status mm -hmm. and it gives some time for the connection to be established. So till that it gets till it gets connected to the, the Wi-Fi network, it keeps on printing dot 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 dot. Every 500 milliseconds, uh, it will check the status and it keeps on uh, printing dot 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 dot. So after that, once uh, it gets the status WL connected, then it prints on the monitor Wi-Fi connected. So once the uh, uh, while statement is true, uh, it prints the message Wi-Fi connected. Now the uh, Wi-Fi connection is established using the provided credential, SSID and a password. And the program waits until ESP8266 uh, is successfully connects to the Wi-Fi network. After connection, it enters into the wide loop. So in the loop function, uh, there is a the first function is ultra function. The ultra function is called to measure the distance using ultrasonic sensor. Using this function, uh, it measures the distance of an object. So after a brief of a uh, delay of one second, so uh, uh, after ultra, we have given a delay function of 1000 millisecond. 1000 millisecond is nothing but one second. After a brief, of, a brief delay of one second, the program tries to establish a connection to the ThingSpeak server using client object. So it tries to connect to the ThingSpeak server using the client object. So that is the meaning of if client connect server comma 80. Uh, in this line, if client dot connect server comma 80. So this line attempts to establish a connection to the server. And it is specified by the uh, variable server on port 80 is the port and uh, the server is a, uh, a server is a variable uh, and the port of that is 80 
then the uh, uh, what it does um, uh, server comma at and uh, open flower bracket close flower bracket within this forward to things speak so what it does um, if the connection is successful the function is this function is called to send the distance uh, distance uh, data to the thing speak channel once the data is sent the client is disconnected uh, after sending the data the client is uh, disconnected uh, using the function client dot stop and the program will wait for uh, it will it will print waiting and it will wait for uh, the program will wait for one second. Thousand is nothing but uh, thousand millisecond is nothing but one second. The program will wait for one second before uh, starting the next iteration. And in wide ultra function, uh, using digital write trigger pin comma low, initially the trigger pin is cleared with the help of this function. So a digital write trigger pin comma low, uh, we are sending low to a trigger pin. It means that we are clearing the trigger pin. So after uh, we will wait for uh, two milliseconds. After two milliseconds, uh, again, the high is sent to the trigger pin. So uh, again, wait for 10 milliseconds and send low to the trigger pin. So what it does, first it sets the trigger pin high for 10 uh, milliseconds. And, uh, to trigger the ultrasonic sensor. Then it uh, reads the duration of the echo pulse on the echo pin and it calculates the distance using the formula. Distance is equal to uh, speed into duration divided by two. Using that formula, it calculates the distance. And here we have a variable duration. Duration is equal to pulse in echo pin comma high. Uh, the meaning of this is uh, this line measures the duration of the pulse received on the echo pin while it is high, while it is in a high state, and the pulse in function uh, returns the duration of the pulse in uh, microseconds. Remember, it returns the duration in microseconds. After that, we calculate the distance. Distance is equal to duration into 0 0.034 divided by two. This line calculates the distance in centimeter based on the duration of the pulse and the formula used uh, assumes the speed of the sound is approximately 343 meter per second or 0 0.034 centimeter per microsecond and the distance to be measured is the one way distance that is half of the total traveled distance. So that is about uh, the uh, duration and uh, distance. Uh, next we have a serial dot print ln distance equal to plus string distance plus cm uh, centimeter. Uh, uh, this line prints the calculated distance in centimeter to the serial port using serial dot print ln and it connects the string uh, distance is equal to the calculated distance and cm to form the complete message that will be displayed on the serial monitor. So it will display the distance is equal to uh, in terms of a, num a value and centimeter. And we have one more function wide forward to things speak. <laughs> when we call that function in a main function, this is a, a sub function. Uh, so this uh, function prepares and send the distance data to the things speak channel. It constructs an HTTP POST request uh, with the necessary headers and data using the POST, uh, post STR uh, string. The data is sent to the field one. So the field one is already created in a ThingSpeak uh, account and uh, to the specified uh, field one. In the field one name we have given as a distance and the ThingSpeak channel along with the API key for the authentication. So the API key also be sent for the authentication purpose. Then HTTP POST request, uh, we have one more command, HTTP uh, POST request. Uh, 